would it even be vlogmas if I didn't say good morning Winnie good morning Good morning, you guys, and welcome to day four of Vlogmas. I'm having a little bit of a late start to my day. It's 10.30, which, like, may not be a late start for some people, but I got woken up at 8 o'clock because everyone was leaving the house, except me, so I had to get up and watch Winnie. It's look a little rough. Today, I'm going to do a get ready with me with you guys, which I'm super excited about. I've been playing with the settings and adjusting it to like my makeup lights, but it does look a little weird. I think I need like a cool toned ring light to film with. If the lighting looks a little weird, I am trying to work with it. I'm doing the best I can. Like I'm not a professional. So obviously I don't know how to make it perfect. Today I'm gonna do the get ready with me with you guys. I'm gonna try to take Winnie on a walk, which I probably won't film. Just because last time I did that it was really windy and it was just annoying and it was hard to like edit the sound with it. And then I work from 5 to 9 tonight. I have Christmas content planned for tomorrow so I'm very excited about that. That'll be fun. I haven't done a makeup video in a while so I thought I would do a little updated everyday makeup routine with you guys. My phone also didn't charge last night so it is almost dead and on the charger. What a great way to start the day. I'm first gonna start with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. And I am in the shade, I think sheer is what it says, but I don't know. It's just like a white shade, I don't know. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I'm not really 100% on how you are supposed to use this. I just kind of rub it in my fingers and put it on my face and it works so I'm also I'm gonna be facing this way because this is where my big mirror is for foundation I'm gonna be using this Fenty Beauty matte foundation and I am in the shade 280 this does not match my skin at all right now because I have not been tanning I'm not gonna pay $40 for a different shade when it's not that bad okay y'all see the color of my neck and the color of my face it matches my face is super pale. Don't hate on the color. So now that my foundation is on, for concealer, I use the Tarte Shape Tape. I'm in the shade 27B, light to medium beige. I'm actually almost out of this, but I ordered some on Cyber Monday and it is on the way. So I just kind of put it here and then blend it out. This is a real techniques beauty blender that I'm using. I really need a new one because this one is getting gross. And then I'm going to use this airspun powder. I don't know if it's going to focus on it. There we go. I'm just going to put that in all the places where I just put concealer. I look like um, Casper the ghost right now. While that sets on my face, I'm going to do my eyebrows. I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. I don't know. I can't. Oh, there it is. There's the logo. And I am in the shade Blonde. And then I'm just going to use this e.l.f. little spoolie. And this is a Morphe M165 brush. It's just like a, it's super dirty. Do not judge how dirty this brush is. Um, it's just like a angled eyebrow brush. I don't know what to call it. I am also the actual worst at doing eyebrows. Um, I used to try to get them. A specific shape but now I just kind of fill them in and don't shape them really now I'm gonna get all this powder off because if I let it sit for too long it like I don't know it looks funky and this is just like a random powder brush it came in a set that I got at TJ Maxx I don't know for eyeshadow today I'm gonna show you guys literally the easiest eyeshadow ever I do this all the time when I make like TikToks or whatever, people are always like, how did you do your eye makeup? And it's the easiest thing ever. So I'm going to show you guys today. I use this Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. It is super dirty. And these are the four colors that are in it. You can really do this look with like any palette because I feel like these are four pretty standard colors. 
but um first thing I'm gonna do is get a big fluffy brush like this this is just a Farah 35e brush just a big fluffy brush we're gonna go into this shade right here any like pink natural skin colored shade will work here and we're just gonna put that everywhere because um I like to blend my eyeshadows on a matte base and not a sticky one so we just kind of put this everywhere so we're gonna start with a morphe jaclyn hill jh33 brush it's just like we're gonna go into this orangey red shade and this is a bold shade to start with but it's whatever and with like a super light hand i'm just gonna start putting that in my crease since this is such like a bold color, you don't want to start super heavy. You basically want to blend this in your crease and then like fan it out. Next, we are going to take this Jaclyn Hill JH40. It's just a brush like that. We're going to go into the dark brown shade right here. And again, with a light hand, because this is a very dark color, you're just going to kind of, I like to start by kind of dabbing it in there, and then I'll start kind of blending with the brush. But this is going to stay mostly in your outer corner, like outer half of your eyelid. You kind of want to keep it in like this triangle right here. And then I'm going to go back to the JH33, back into that orangish, reddish shade and blend on top of that dark brown. Next, we're gonna take a JH41, which is just like a, it's a flat eyeshadow brush. I usually use this for glitters, but we're not gonna get any glitter today. I'm gonna go into this white shade, and we're gonna put that on the inner half of your eyelid. Back with the JH33 into that orange shade, and you are gonna blend just in the middle don't go super far over into your inner half of your eyelid because then it's going to cover up all that white i'm going to take this jh32 which is just a big old blending brush i'm just going to kind of put it all over we're going to take this little jh39 it's just a little itty bitty brush you go into this orange shade again and that is going to go underneath your eye and that is the eyeshadow this is seriously so easy i do this all the time now it is time to bronze the face i'm going to use this bronzer right here i got this in an ipsy and i've been really loving it it's very warm toned and as y'all can tell i'm very warm toned so like this is a good bronzer for me this is a farah contour 218m brush and I just kind of put this bronzer in places where you would normally contour. I also put it up here around my forehead. And then I'm going to be using the blush from the same brand. It's Sugar, I think is what they're called. This is just a blush. It's very natural looking, which I like. I don't like super pink blushes for highlighter i'm gonna use this ofra madison miller highlighter it is in this shade c shimmer and a morphe jaclyn hill jh09 i can't remember if i said my blush brush but it's also morphe jaclyn hill it's a jh04 so i'm just gonna put on this highlight i am also gonna take this jh42 brush it's just this little teeny tiny guy here we go teeny tiny little brush and i'm gonna use that for my inner corner highlight and also underneath the brow bone and then since i'm done with the face i'm just gonna spray it this is the morphe continuous setting mist this is just the original this is the maybelline master precise all day liquid eyeliner i just have the black one i need a new one this is like my last one and this is my favorite liquid eyeliner because i really like the applicator on this it's just very precise. All right, wing number one didn't go that bad. I just did a really tiny one. Let's see if I can get number two to look like number one. Okay, that looks better. So I just did baby wings because 
I did not want to do a big one and mess it up because I would get very angry. So now we're going to move on to lash primer. This is so dirty and I'm really sorry. But I'm using the CoverGirl lash primer. And then this is a random mascara I got in my Ipsy that I'm just, this name is raunchy. I'm trying to use it up, but it's called Mile High Club. So inappropriate. What is with mascaras? having inappropriate names. I'm just gonna put this primer on my lashes. And I've heard different things on whether you're supposed to wait for it to dry or not, but I'm impatient. So we're gonna put mascara on now. I do like this mascara. Actually, it's all right. But um, I have the worst eyelashes ever. If you think your eyelashes are worse than mine, you're wrong. They're so, they're actually not even that short and that's what angers me the most. They just will not hold curl no matter what I do. And this is my super easy makeup look. Get ready with me. This wasn't really supposed to be a tutorial, but I just realized I kind of talked to you guys through everything I did. So I don't know what to call this. I think I'm going to change into like a sweatshirt and leggings and take her on a walk really quick. I don't work until 5, so really I'm not in a rush. It's 11.04, so I'm going to do that and then we will make some lunch. I'm really feeling pasta, so we'll see what I come up with for lunch. I'm back from my walk with Winnie and I decided to make pasta salad. It's kind of pasta salad. I have some gluten-free rotini cooking on the stove and then I'm gonna show you guys what I put in it. So we don't have Italian dressing, so I'm gonna put this in it because it's kind of similar, kind of not, but it, it'll work. Some mozzarella cheese, a little bit of Parmesan, some pepperonis, these are really good, they're thick sliced. And then I usually like to put garlic salt, but we don't have it right now, I guess. So I'm gonna put some of this in and I think it'll taste good. This is what it ends up looking like. It's really good. I used to make this all the time. I'm going to eat my lunch. I think I'm going to watch some YouTube. And then I will update you guys later. So it's like 3.45. And I am all dressed and ready for work. I'll show you guys my outfit in a minute. Um, basically what I've done is edit the vlog up until this point, And I actually had to cut some of it out because this video is really long. But um, I'm going to leave for work in about half an hour. I pulled my hair up in a ponytail and I don't know how I feel about it. I about had a midlife crisis with this camera. More specifically the tripod. I guess I like screwed it on too tight to my camera and I couldn't get it off to get like my SD card out and stuff. And I freaked out like I had to break the tripod to um, unscrew it to get it out. And I got it back together but it's just super stiff now which is weird but like... I had no other way of unscrewing the tripod like I had to break it but yeah I about lost my mind trying to get the tripod off of my camera today. I don't know how I feel about this outfit it is not my style at all but everyone at my work dress is like super casual and I look super dressed up so this was my attempt at a casual outfit this is just a white cami this jacket keeps laying really weird so I don't know if I like it or not but this is from Saved by Grace Boutique, which is an online boutique. Um, you can follow them on Instagram and shop there. These jeans are American Eagle. They just have white stripes. And then these are the platform Air Force ones. I'm obsessed with these. But yeah, this is today's outfit. All right, you guys, it is 4.10 and I am leaving for work. I work 5 to 9 tonight, so I probably won't be doing anything after I think I'm just gonna eat dinner um maybe take my chemistry exam tonight just to get it over with and then I'm gonna go to bed so um I think I'm just gonna end the vlog here because I'm not really doing anything else but thank you all so much for watching I hope you enjoyed be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you did be sure to drop a comment down below and subscribe to see more of my videos and make sure to hit that notification bell so that you'll know when I upload my next video